This is not a live look at a page on YouTube. It is not a screen recording of a video on YouTube. This is my newest plugin for DaVinci Resolve. It lives right here on my timeline. If I disable it, you will see the video that is being played over. And as soon as I drop it on the timeline, it shrinks down that video and replicates the standard uh, YouTube player UI all around it. And it features all the customization you would want. Now, some of you might know that I made another preset a little while ago now, uh, this one, to recreate that standard full screen player UI. So you have the title, the icons down here, and the big feature of this was this progress bar. This progress bar, which has all the math to uh, correctly function based on the length of the clip you use it on, as well as specific inputs for how long you want it to sort of act like the entire clip is. For instance, the standard uh, effect when you drop it on timeline is five seconds, but in this overlay, we have a second control for the total time that we've uh, pumped up to 10. So it starts at zero seconds, and then it goes and plays those five seconds until the clip is over, finishes right around five seconds halfway through the video. If I were to increase something like this minutes hand to like a two minute, 10 second video, then the bar would still progress, but of course only get up to that little sliver based on this total duration. But of course we have this current time. So if this total video was two minutes, 10 seconds, I pull this current time, I add a minute to that, and now that bar is one minute in, and it just moves forward the correct proportional amount. Now that is just bringing you back up to speed, but if some of you are familiar with this preset, you might notice that things look a little different in the inspector, because while I am releasing this other new preset, I'm also updating uh, this current full screen layout um, with these new timing tools. And with all this updates and new releases going on, I am packaging these two presets together. So if you have previously purchased this full screen layout, you should have gotten an email relatively recently saying that there is an update for you, and that update includes includes these timing changes, as well as this new sort of default layout preset. I am bumping the default price um, because this is now two in one, but if you bought uh, earlier, you sort of get like a little functional pre-order bonus. Hope you like it. But let's look at this completely new effect. Very powerful, of course, are those main progress bar controls. Another feature added um, was the option to change this from a solid to gradient, this little color on the player to sort of reflect that YouTube change made, uh, the change that YouTube made last year. We have those timing controls. And then you might've also noted this gray buffer bar. Um, depending on the time of this, this gray buffer bar by default will sort of load over the first few seconds, um, but you can either have it complete and completely fill up that bar or just get rid of it based on that timing. But on this new preset, I also have this cool little option for progress bar fade out. In this standard full screen layout, after a few seconds, I have this sort of like fading away because that's the behavior that ha this happens on YouTube. If you don't want that to fade out, you can just uncheck this and it will stay up the entire time. And you can even adjust timing for that as well. Now that is main just like cool functionality, but we also have just uh, a lot of customization here. You will notice I have a little account uh, picture up in here, and of course the main title, and links to the channel and the channel and how many subscribers the channel has, and the individual description for this video. Not to mention all of these video links on the sidebar. And if I open up both main customization and video links, we have customization options for all of that. You can change all of these images. You can change this description text. You can change every single one of these thumbnails on the side and the title of those videos and what channel those videos are on. Even um, down here, uh, how many views each of these channels have, when it was published, and the individual time code for all these side videos. So if you have all the data, you can make this look as realistic as you want. Now, I think there are only a few things I need to mention. Uh, first, there is, you know, a lot going on on this preset. You want to scare some people? Let's open it up in Fusion. Open up this group. Give it a second to think. And um, we even have numerous groups in here. Give it even more a second. Open up numerous groups. Um, these yellows are all groups as well. Wow. There is a lot going on in this preset um, because um, this scene is rebuilt functionally from scratch. 
which means like even all of these little icons are made in the shape system of Resolve. The only actual like still images I brought in are living here on these thumbnails as these temporary images you can replace. So as you can see here with this blue bar, I have toggled on um, this render cache to smart. Be prepared to use your render cache if you use this effect. Now I am also previewing this effect on 4K timeline. And uh, something uh, I had to do when I did that is in all these individual thumbnail controls, um, by default, these thumbnail scales will be set to one. And as you see, um, they will look pretty bad over here. I had to bump them up to two. If I were to hop on a uh, 1080 timeline, open up those video links, you see even those with a scale of one, they all still fit great. This was to retain a little bit of flexibility and keep the preset a little bit simple. Um, if you use this on a standard 1080 timeline, things will look great. If you use it on a different resolution timeline, you might need to adjust this thumbnail scale, both for these temporary images and uh, any image you drag in. I tried to sort of handle this on the back end, um, but found some reasons I thought it was best to do it this way. This should be like the one little thing you kind of need to be aware of. But other than that, you can change all of these thumbnails on the side. You can change your progress bar controls. I guess I didn't make a light mode uh, version of this effect. That honestly didn't dawn until me until right now. So maybe you can request that, but I think this looks pretty good. It even has that cool sort of edge glow that YouTube does. I think this will cover a lot of bases for people who want to just like toss this effect on something to simulate something being played in YouTube. If you pick up this preset and there is any extra customization that you don't see and you would like, let me know if there are any other variations. I think this and the full screen cover a lot of bases, but in general, let me know what you want and it might just happen. This pack with the standard layout and this full screen viewer is available now, link in the description. Like I said, if you had previously purchased that first preset, uh, you get the upgrade for free. So click the link in the description to head over to sterlingsupply.co and check it out there or check out any of my other dozens of free uh, presets and templates and plugins. And of course, my other products and membership and stuff going on over there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.